hello my dear students today we are going to start political life chapter number 2 the chapter name is diversity and Discrimi discrimination so by the word diversity and discrimination we need to understand these two things diversity is means there are be different uh, for uh, i am giving you example for your better understanding such as in our in india you will find lots of religions lots of castes lots of languages lots of dance forms but still we all are indian the, the different culture and different religion and different way of living is called diversity and discrimination is means suppose in your class there are 20 students but all are not belongs to the same family not belongs to the same religion not belongs to the same caste they are different they are coming from different society but if a teacher discriminate them that the rich student and poor student can be separated by the teacher this one is called discrimination so if we study this if we read this chapter we will understand better i am just giving you one example so that you can understand in a basic way the meaning of the diversity and discrimination so difference and prejudice there are many things that make us what we are how we live the language we speak what we eat where and the games we play and the things we celebrate you will get an idea of how diverse india if you look even briefly at the following statement so we need to uh, look at the following statement briefly you see here there in the third paragraph there are eight major re religion in the world every single one of them practiced in india if we see all over the world we will find eight major religions but but all the religions those eight major religions are practiced in india beside these there are small small other religions also are in india we have more than 1600 languages that are people speak as their mother tongue it is not a small thing 1600 languages are in india which are people used as their mother tongue and there are more than 100 dance forms every state or every region has a you several dance forms such as with the uh, Assamese people cel uh, celebrate or with the Assamese people uh, used to do Vihu dance this is called Assamese dance also the Punjabis people have a separ several dance forms they are Punjabis dance Rajasthani people also they have several dance forms every state or every region has a several dance forms yet this diversity is not always celebrated this is because we feel safe and secure with people who look talk dress and think like us it's we celebrate because the people who are look who are same to our language who are same to our religion who are same to our culture we celebrate with them all these things sometimes when we meet people who are very different from us we may find them strange and unfamiliar at the time we may not uh, we may not understand or know the reasons why they are different from us people also from certain attitude and opinion about others who are not like them beside this we also meet with the people who are not like us who uh, whose thinking whose dress up whose uh, everything is not like us it's different from us so it's a diversity it's not they because they are not belongs to our region our society our culture so if uh, uh, for example i am telling you that if uh, one english people such as uh, one person come from england native people of england come in our village 
then you will feel that this person is totally different even not needed uh, american people if punjabi people also come to our village then also you will feel it he is different from us his beard style and his dress up and his pagdi all these things are different from us because we are not usually wear all these things so here we need to understand prejudice prejudice means to judge other people negative or see them as a inferior when we think that only one particular way is the best right to way to do the thing we often end up not respecting others so prejudice is a very uh, bad manner it, if you can say it's a very bad manner because when you start judging people in a negative way that time you will feel bad towards this person you will see his you will see uh, him as a inferior not like you you will see him as this inferior and with this thinking what will happen that your respecting quality will be end up so this is called prejudice we can be uh, prejudiced prejudiced about many things people's religious belief the color of other skin the region they come from the accent they speak in the clothes they wear etc so by these things we can prejudice the people we can judge the people creating stereotypes all of us are familiar with gender difference what does it means to be boy or girl many of you would say we are born as boy and girls it is a given what is there to think about let's see about so now creating stereotypes stereotype means discrimination between two person or two people it's because of gender it's because of religion it's because of uh, regional problem it's because of your culture but when you separate two person two indi- individuals then it, that it, then it is called stereotype such as boys and girls come to school together if the teacher give preference to the girls only then it is also stereotypes if the teacher uh, give preference to the boys only then it is also stereotypes because they are uh, he or she is not giving focus on both equally here nothing is given you just see so i don't want to make our uh, class is too long here our class is going to end and in the next day i will give you some more uh, i will complete the rest of the chapter thank you